Ryan with Mitstock Geek here, and this is going to be <laughs> something I've never done it before, which is an unboxing video. I think they're overrated personally, but I mean, this one's pretty cool because it's the new QRP Labs QCX Mini. Uh, not a lot of people have seen these uh, firsthand yet because they're still shipping. Uh, I managed to get one, and um, this one actually was shipped from the U.S. from uh, Hans's. Uh, US stock. So um, I was just received this uh, tonight. It came in the mail. I went and checked the mail and there it was. So um, this is a QCX Mini and I ordered this one with all the options. It came with the uh, Mini, the box, and I'm not sure what the T1XX is, but it's got the TXCO, the, uh, uh, the uh, stabilized crystal oscillator. So, let's take a look, shall we? I, I, I love this thing, by the way. This thing makes the most uh, uh, satisfying flick. It's the uh, uh, Kershaw uh, knife that I got this year. Best knife I've ever had. I've never spent this much money on a knife either. Well, let's take a look. Uh, we'll start by just opening the box. And I love the boxes that QRP Labs uses. They've just got, like, they're just so satisfying to open. Uh, <laughs> and they make great storage boxes, too, for, for things. Open that up there. There we go. And we've got some filler there. And here we have... Yeah, that's some QCX Mini. So here's the main the main pouch. QCX Mini transceiver kit with all its parts, and it looks like there's the uh, oven control or the not oven control the TCXO. I'll remember the acronym at some point, or I'll look it up, or I'll, or I'll look it up and then I'll edit the video and I'll put it right here. Or maybe, maybe right here. I don't know. Now, I ordered the 20 meter version. Um, I do have the stuff to put it on uh, 17 meter also. So, if uh, you have an opinion about which band I should put it on, please post it in the comments below. I would be glad to hear. Uh, my personal use is going to be just learning CW and portable use. Um, so, I'm thinking the reason I got 20 meters was because a, a 20 meter inverted V is really easy to set up. Uh, with just a, a cheap pole and uh, an old tripod and a little bit of wire. So that's why I went for it. And of course you can do an end head too pretty easily. The wire doesn't have to be that long. Uh, or you could do a, um, you know, with a, a random wire with a L match. Uh, which is one of the solution I use at home. All right, so there's that. And then we've got looks like the enclosure kit. And I'm not sure, oh, this is probably the, the side plates, I'm guessing. And we've got some nice little uh, uh, pads for it to sit on. And the actual enclosure itself. This will be pretty interesting because this is really gonna show us the size of the finished product. Oh, look at that. Move this out of the way here. And so you can see these go together like so. Oh, they're key. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at that. Look how tiny that is. It's no wonder that this should be called the QCX Tiny. <laughs> this thing is just so small. Uh, I cannot wait to get this built. I don't know if I'll have time to actually build it. And, and I don't really think I have the uh, equipment needed to film the build. Although I will definitely be uh, covering it here on YouTube and on my blog, miss.geek.com. So if this video has been the least bit interesting to you and you're watching it until this point, Please subscribe. Uh, it'll help other and like the video too, and leave a comment. Tell me which band you think I should use, 
And tell me your favorite way to learn CW, because I need to learn. And the thing is, I want to learn CW um, by ear. A lot of the a lot of the, the uh, apps and a lot of the methods they have you write it down and uh, or they or they post it, you know, or they they print it as they as they uh, um, transmit or as they sound out the CW. Um, it shows it. And I, I actually just want to learn it by ear. I want to be able to copy by ear from scratch. I don't want to go through the hurdles of um, learning it by sight, basically, by writing it down. I, I want to hear the hear the character and know what it is. And hear the word, know what it is. So if you have a preferred method for that or you can suggest something, please let me know in the comments below. It'll actually really help me because uh, um, that's what I decided I want to do. So... Anyway, and so here are the side pieces, I'm sure. Yep. And of course, they're all screen printed. PTT, CAT, RF, Paddle, Audio, DC. So uh, that'll be a lot of fun to put together. So I'll put, th put these back in here for safekeeping. I did not make it as pretty as they did when they packaged it. <laughs> so we'll take a look next at some of the contents. Uh, I'll put this back in here for now. Take a look at some of the contents of this package. So the first thing is the actual QCX Mini main board, and I'm going to go ahead and open this here because I mean, I've got to take it out eventually, right? There it is, and you can see there's a lot of uh, surface mount components, and they're already installed. So there's no surface mounts to do. Uh, let's try to get this over here. Sorry about that. So there's no surface mounts to do. Um, there are some inductors. We've got L1, L2, L3, and T1, and L4. People always have a hard time with uh, T1. And it becomes a lot easier when you realize that it's just three sets of wind or four sets of windings, one larger and three smaller. And the, the tricky part is, is that in the manual, he encourages you to wind them all at once. So you just pull out some of the wire between the windings so that and then tie it or you know kind of tie it out of the way so that you can separate them later but it's really just three windings and you could actually wind them separately if you wanted to it's just easier to do them all at once because you're already doing it um anyway so there's t1 and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video on winding t1 because i mean lots of people have done it but um i'll show you how i do it it's it's pretty easy it's just following the directions really so uh, one of the things that Hans has said in the manual, which I took a glance at, which he, he just published today, uh, December 11th, um, is that this edge right here needs to be broken off. And uh, a little, I think a pair of pliers will do that because this is left over from manufacturing because they manufacture all these boards on a big sheet and then they trim them. And so you can see, actually see a little bit of the, the break right there. So I try to get this under the camera. Uh, there's a little bit of a spot right here that's rough and it's rough around the edges a little bit so that will just be easy to clean up with maybe uh, a little bit of sandpaper against the a surface that's probably what i'll do and then this has to be broken off and sanded so that it's smooth so that it'll fit uh, in the enclosure all right so that's that and there's you can see there's surface mount components uh, front and back and so in the uh, manual, he's got instructions on how to make sure you don't accidentally desolder any of these and also doing an inspection. Um, so I'll show you the uh, how I'm going to do the inspection. I've got a magnified LED lamp uh, that I'll, I'll link below. Um, and it'll work perfectly for this. So there's a lot of components there. That means this build will probably go fairly quickly because there's actually less components to do you know to install all the resistors and capacitors and the majority of them are already in 
all the ICs and everything. So we'll set this out of the way. So the next thing is the control board. And there's a couple of really neat things in here. Um, I'll show you a couple of the features. So Hans actually, I, I haven't looked at the, the manual yet to know all of the things he did, but he did something amazing in that he created multiple boards in one. Uh, so this piece is set, this separates, this separates, this separates, and this separates. And this is the control, the part that does the, uh, you know, the, the switches and the, uh, the, 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 sorry, the potentiometer and the rotary, um, um, Mm -hmm. My brain's very tired. The tuning knob. I'm gonna go, that's, we'll just stick with tuning knob. <laughs> if, I, if I can even think of it, I'll put it uh, right. The name, I'll put the name right here. The rotary encoder. There we go. See, I just putting my finger there. Rotary encoder. So, uh, rotary encoder. Yeah, there we go. Rotary encoder here, it uh, looks like, and um, potentiometer here. And then there's, if you're one of those people who wants to do the micro SDX modification, he's actually got a board here that lets you do that by just plugging in that board and doing some things. I have to admit, I'm not a fan of that modification. It's, uh, it, the receiver performance is poor. The SSB that it transmits is poor. Um, not a fan. Uh, so I tried it, didn't like it. And then we have the regular components you'll find in any QRP Labs uh, but uh, product. However, I think he said that the 16x2 LCD is unique. We'll go ahead and open this up here. Oh, the beauties of a sharp knife. I went to a restaurant one time and asked for a sharp knife and they brought me a Chardonnay. True story. Apparently they sound a lot alike. Anyhow, so let's t take this out. Now you'll notice this is a different color. It's that green color, that yellowish green. This can be viewed without the backlight. So it can save some, uh, uh, save some current consumption if you're on batteries. Because this thing is really, I mean, obviously it's made for portable use. Hans really listened to the community when he designed this because the community said, hey, this new QCX Plus is amazing, but we want the small one. So he said, okay, you want a small one? I'll give you a small one. Let's make, a, let's make one that's especially designed to be small. And so he did. And then we've got the rest of the components that you'll find in any other QCX product or any other QRP Labs. Uh, the, well, probably the same stuff you find in the QCX Plus, save for a few of the more miniature components. I know... The rotary encoder is different. Uh, the uh, BNC connector is definitely different. Uh, it's an, a departure there. But this is the same TCXO. Uh, these are the same inductors. Um, so a few, mod few changes for the QCX Mini, but overall it's you know, roughly the same. So anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed this video. I want to hear your comments below, please. Um, you know, this is going to be a, a really neat product when it's done. I don't know how long it's going to take me. Uh, my schedule is pretty insane at the moment. And so, um, we'll see how long it actually takes me to build it, but I'm going to get started uh, as soon as I can reasonably do so. And when I have the energy, although I'll admit I'm not starting it tonight. Uh, I've had between three and five hours of sleep for the last week or two. So, um, <laughs> not necessarily in a good position to to finish this thing or even get started so please I, again leave your comments below so tell me should i pick 20 meters or 17 meters that's what i have the stuff to do i'd love to hear your opinion based on your own experiences and how should i go about learning cw so that i can hear it by ear um, and send it um, of course but i want to list i want to uh, know cw by ear so thanks for watching the video. Again, if you've gotten this far, please like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment below. And uh, that's pretty much it. So 73 from Whiskey 7 Romeo Lima Foxtrot. Thanks for watching.